So let's go down to Drea Avon. Hi, Ron. Well, I talked to Coach Shanahan, and he was one of the most frustrated that I've seen him at halftime in the several times I've interviewed him this season. He said, we need to continue to run the ball better. We need to cut down on the turnovers. He said, that's been our Achilles heel, and we really need to work on that and third down conversions. And as far as Coach Reed is concerned, he said he loves the pressure that his defense is getting on Rex Grossman. He wants that to continue, and he also wants to see some more balance out there through the air and on the ground. And he said they're going to continue to utilize the play-action passing game, guys. Thank you very much, Cam. We talked yesterday about last week being a tale of two halves. How important was it for you guys to come out, show that killer instinct, and finish today? Well, we had to be resilient. I mean, we talked about it all week in practice. I mean, it was bugging us. Let's go down to the third member of our crew standing by on the sideline, Drea Aben. Drea. Coach, your team has won five out of the last six games. What's the key to the positive momentum on both sides of the ball and the surge heading into this game today? Well, we've done a great job with the football. We've taken it away from our opponents, and we've done a really good job of taking care of it, which will be a big charge of uh, this game today. If we can get that done, it'll make a difference. Well, a couple of injury updates for you. Joseph Adai is active, but he's only going to be used as an emergency running back. And first round draft pick Anthony Costanzo will start. And as far as the Falcons are concerned, offensive lineman Sam Baker is out. But the biggest return is rookie Julio Jones. And I spoke to him before the game about his hamstring. He said it's almost back to normal. I asked him specifically about the explosiveness in his routes. And he said that that's coming along and he wants to make a big impact today. Check in with the third member of our team, Drea Aben. Hi, Dick. Well, I spoke to Coach Rivera, and he said he's very happy with the way the offense is moving the chains through the air and on the ground. He loves the protection that Cam is getting. He says he is all day to throw, and we need to keep that going. But he said defensively, we need to do better in the red zone, and we need to tackle better. And as far as Coach Smith is concerned, he said there's way too many penalties. He's not happy with that. Mike, you rounded out the season with your fourth straight win. The passing game was very efficient. What was the key to making it happen through the air today? Well, I think just making good decisions. Coach did a great job in calling the plays. The guys did a great job up front. And uh, I just tried to make sure I made good decisions. What's the most important thing that you guys as a unit take from this win today as far as building on for momentum going into next season? Um, just playing together. Not only are Sam Bradford and Colt McCoy two of the most promising young quarterbacks in the NFL, they're also really good friends. It actually started in college with Colt at UT and Sam at OU, the Red River rivalry and all the pageantry with that. And Colt says the best thing about Sam is that they're both down to earth. They like to fish and golf in the offseason. And plus, the, both of their moms are PE teachers, so that's also something they have in common. What has the mood and the mindset had been this past week at practice leading up to this big game today? Well, we know what we have. Our destiny is right there. I mean, we win. We got to win three out of, at least three out of these last four games. It's a tough game, uh, especially after last week coming up that loss. We want to come out with something to prove and hopefully get some momentum going and take it into the playoffs. Well, I talked to Coach Harbaugh, and he said he wants the pass defense to continue to get better as this game progresses. He was very concise. He said he liked the energy that his team showed down the stretch of that second quarter, but he said we have to ramp it up because Seattle's offense in the second half is one of the best in the league. And as far as Coach Carroll is concerned, he said we need to continue to grind it out on the ground, but we also want to test that secondary because that's going to give us the best chance to win. You really came on strong on the ground. What was the key to your success rushing the ball? Well, we knew that they were a very talented defense, a lot of athletic guys on that side of the ball, and they're really aggressive. So if we could just keep our patience and make sure that I, you know, do the things that I saw on film, we felt that we could attack, attack them downhill. You got 128 yards today. Congratulations on that. But how important was it for you guys to come out today and bounce back with a win after such a tough loss last week? Yeah, it was very important. Last week was a tough loss. And I think, as, as you know, man, we haven't had the best of, of luck around here. But this team, I guarantee you, we fight. And regardless of our record, regardless of the points on the scoreboard, we're going to play our hearts out. All right, Stephen, best of luck next week. Thank you. Let's send it back to you, Kurt.